Hi dancers, it's Teacher Linda. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite brands because I got this question off of Instagram and I know a lot of you see me wear shakot or takoto in Nihongo, Japanese. <laughs> so, is shakot or takoto worth it to buy? I understand it's not very easy to purchase internationally and I get this question very often and I'll show you a few of my shakot or chakot items because I love them and I do have to say they're one of my most long-lasting leotards. I have some leotards here that go way back 10-15 years ago and I still use them when I teach. So I'll show you some of them. This one's my brown one. I love clean camisole staples like this one. This one came with a fukubukuro bag and I know you all have seen me talk about fukubukuro or the lucky bag of Japan where you can get a lot of these items. So this one is another one that I love having in my closet or in my collection. And then I also have this, um, so a lot of them are camisoles. I think a lot of these really come from fukubukuro bags because the thing is, they come in sets of 10 or 15,000 yen if I'm not mistaken and um, you can get like 5-6 items for that amount. So I find that really really affordable. It's like a um, 5,000 or 100 dollar gift bag where you can get all these beautiful items. And what's so nice about um, Shakoto is that all of their items are made in Japan and I'm not sure if you can see that there it says made in the Japan down there and I just really love made in Japan items and that it's not made in China no offense or anything intended of course it's just that I love the craftsmanship of all their leotards like this one I have the stitching doesn't come off this the quality speaks for itself um, I do have some items though that I feel as though are less um, worth it than others, but some that are worth it. But the leotards for sure are my favorites. Um, this one though, I noticed my strap got hard. You know how your the garter gets hard? I was really upset about this one because this was one of my favorite leotards and the strap area here got hard so I'm gonna have to... I'm actually planning to cut this area and re-sew a new garter since I, I mean like I can just do that myself. I just feel really sad because this is one of my favorite little black leotards just like your little black dresses. And this is my most recent purchase from Chakot. It came with their new line this year. I love the design on this leotard. If you could see the colors on it and the... do you see that? It just reminds me of Europe and I love teaching in it because it feels so professional and it's so beautiful and the design is so beautiful so that was one of my favorite things here. I do use Chakot tights. I'll show you one pair. They're very very soft and very very thick. I love Chakot tights. They're also one of my staples in my closet and they comprise most of my dad's closet. Another thing I have a lot of are their sweats. Everyone knows I love sweatpants and sweatshorts. I do have a comment though about their sweats. Their sweats, although very beautiful, I've been using them since the start of when I was dancing back in the company, since I was 13. So that's probably more than 17 or so years ago. This one I actually bought just two years ago, but can you see the stitching? It's coming off and you see this area here? You can see the garter area already, uh, the stitching here already came off as well. I still use it though, honestly, I have my own products also that become like this, but I felt really bad because they're not very cheap. You know, you see that? The garter is out. Yeah. <laughs> but I felt pretty bad because they're not as cheap either and then they they came off and it is made in Japan as well. But I think it's really the fabric. This fabric, they call it like a silent shot fabric because it's like this, the fabric is silent. It doesn't stick on your skin. It's beautiful actually when you use it and it's really warm. But yeah, it got broken. I can always stitch it back. I mean, 
I just have to fold it and then gather it and then stitch it because I do have a piping machine. But then if you were not someone who knew how to sew, then I think um, you'd be a little bit upset for the amount that you paid for it. These ones are my sweatpants. I actually have them in a shorts version in purple and pink. But the same thing happened on the ends. And the ends here also overstretch. Although I love the adjustable area here, um, it overstretched and I hardly use it anymore. So I just keep it open a lot of the times. So it was like two years or so. This one though, it is starting to come off. I don't use it as often as this one. And I actually only hand wash. I, I don't put this in the laundry and it does say not to put it in the laundry. So I just like soak or wipe and stuff because it's something I sweat in. As you can see, I keep it upside down as often as I can, not to ruin the fabric also. I love this one though because it covers like top and bottom. This reminds me of their first edition sweatshirts and sweatpants. If you were ever, ever into Chicot, this was actually one of their original designs without the shoulder straps. I had it and it used to come only until this part and then it was like a sauna sweat um, pant only for the tummy area. But this one actually goes all the way to the top now so it's kind of like a jumpsuit. Would I say it's worth it? Yes. I have used this so many times and I do not regret buying this. I love this shoulder area. It's super comfy and when I don't want to use that area, I can actually just fold it in and it becomes like this. So this one's pretty useful and it's dark colored and I love it. Okay, on to the more different items of Chakot. I love their Chakot technology and I have one item I really love. This is their for your turnout, like keeping your turnout. I love this part and then like you can you can use it for a whole lot of exercise, especially for Pilates. I often use this and um, it's like a, it's almost like a memory foam. You can see like it's not a hard surface so it's a little soft and I love doing my turnout exercises on it especially yeah when I'm doing anything that requires me to keep my turnout but being able to feel the weight of the ball of the foot and then the heel and I, I use this often to stretch and the other things even in the morning. I love it so much it gets my ankles and all parts of my body really warm so I use it even until now. Um, another thing I love is their stretch band. So this one is pretty hard. I know people saying that um, this one gets loose over time. Yes, it does. I actually have bought two of these in the last 10 years. But I would say it's not so bad for something that I've been using like 5, 10 years. I still use the old one. I use it for my travels more. But um, it still has its stretch. And I love it. I also actually use it for exercises like the shoulder exercises as well because they're pretty useful. So I feel like they're not just for your legs, although they advertise them for your stretching and for your legs and for the opposition of your shoulder and your legs. So I love using them and I love these stretch bands, especially after class. I don't usually use them before class. But I do love to use them after class and I find them so useful. I also have a few of their shoes. Actually, all the shoes that I own are from Chakot. You can see it still has... Um, these are new ones. I, I will not um, tie them yet. But I love Chakot shoes. They last me very long. They don't get broken so easily, especially their new washable ones. If you ever get a hand on the new washable Chakot shoes, you will love them. They come with pre-sewn invisible garters and you can wash them, although right now they're dirty. <laughs> they're washable shoes and they are so comfy. And they don't change shape when you wash them because one characteristic of the shoe like this, which is one of their more basic stretchable shoe, is that when you wash it, it shrinks a little. But this washable shoe, the fabric, is really good and you can wash it. It doesn't change in shape. It doesn't shrink. I've washed it once and I feel like it's it's amazing. Like it was, it was well worth it. I was able to do so much things in the shoe. I love the garter. It reminds me of like the Sodansa shape but like it looks so small but it really like spreads out all around and I have pretty 
again, tapered feet, but very wide here on my bunion area. So I find these very, very comfortable. So if you ever want like your own, like another kind of shoe to try, these, you ask for the washable ones with the invisible garter. They're very good. Okay, on to the final note of Chakot. I guess your question was, is it worth it? I guess it would depend on your budget. I just showed you a little bit of a snippet of what you would get. Um, it would really depend on how much you can afford. But I do feel like their shoes, 2,000 yen or so, some of them 1,800 yen, ranging from that price. It's not so bad. Shoes are pretty expensive right now, even ballet shoes, and they do last me over a year or so. I prefer shoes like that that I can use for a long time, especially I teach and I'm always on my feet all the time. Um, they're Sweatpants though, you can see, I mean like with the chafing, I guess it would again depend if you really need sweatpants. I mean, I do have sweatpants of my own in my shop, which um, I use different fabric of. I do like the silent shot fabric, if I'll be honest, because it's really light, but um, it sticks to your body when you sweat and you're not wearing tights. So this is also why I chose my fabric, because I don't like the sticky feeling. Again, it's preferential per person. Okay, tights. Yes, I would say are worth it as well as their boards and their um, equipment. But if you're gonna ask me about leotards, I do find it a bit pricey. Although I guess it's also because it's made in Japan and the fabric is really good. So I would say they last pretty long. So, you know, if I've been using, for example, some of these um, for maybe five, six years, I mean, if they cost like, three, four, or five thousand yen, then I think it's well worth it already. And I use leotards very, very often. I mean, I teach seven days a week. You can, you can see for the past ten years, I've probably been using this leotard quite a lot already. So I would say it is worth it if you use it again, it differs per person. But I would say go for their lucky gift bags because you really get good deals on that. So I hope that this video helps you decide or gives you an idea of this brand. I would love to do more videos like this. If you have any questions, let me know down on the comment section below. And again, this is Teacher Lina of Studio the Dance by Lina and Dance by Lina Dancewear. Happy New Year, everyone. And thank you for watching.